Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about data labels on line charts and how you can easily display the first, the last and the highest and the lowest values with really just one setting. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got a line chart here and there's no values selected and it is showing the overall equipment effectiveness percentage for a piece of equipment and it ranges from at the start it is 98.8 the lowest is 97 the highest is 99.8 and then the final value is is uh, 97.5 now we want to call out these four values so the easy way to do that is first of all we need to switch on data labels and we can see that we've got data labels switched on for some of the values, but not all of the values. Now, if we open this up and we scroll down, in here we can see that we've got this option here called label density. Now, the label density determines the percentage of data points that will have labels allocated to it. So if we scroll right up to the top, 100, we can see that every data point's got a label. And if we put it back to... 50 or 55, we can see that only half of the values will have labels associated with them. And Power BI does a pretty good job of determining which values, you know, so we've got the first, we've got the kind of highs and lows to associate with the actual data points. However, if we sp scroll it right down at the bottom to 0%, now we've got the data label switched on, so it can never be no data labels. And what Power BI will do is it will automatically select the highest, the lowest, the first, and the last, which is exactly what we need. Now you can do this using DAX, and there are some advantages to doing that, and I will cover that in another video, which I'll leave a link to below. But if you want something that's quick and easy, then this is a really straightforward and simple solution. There are a couple of points here that I just want to raise. The The first one is that we um, we need to make sure that we've got this data label switched on here. Okay, so that needs to definitely be to be switched on. And the second point is that it's really useful for trends that are mini trends. Okay, so it may not be quite as useful for these kind of high level trends here. But what you can do under this data labels again, if you want these to stand out a little bit more, is you can actually put a background in as well. So if you scroll down, you can show the background and yeah, you can, you can play about the background and make it a different color. And that just highlights the fact that there's an actual value there. So really straightforward, really easy. If you like this video, then I'd appreciate it if you'd it'd help me out a lot if you give that a thumbs up and, and liked it. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then click the subscribe button and click the wee bell to get a notification whenever I release a new video, and that's normally every week. So thanks again for listening. Hopefully this will give you some good advice on how to easily add in the, those, um, those key values into a, a line graph and hopefully you can use it in your own business. Okay, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you in the next video.